I always think like that in every occasion I have to buy, uh, I have to wear a new dress. But sometimes I feel like it is not a good habit uh, because we are spending a lot of money on our clothes only. First of all, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. How, How are, are you? you? Yes, I'm good, but feeling a little bit cold and cough. And what about you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. And uh, weather is changing. So. Yeah, because of weather only, I got <laughs> cold and cough. It happened with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are right. Okay, so this is our first meet. So I want to know a little bit about yourself. Hi, sir. My name is Nidhi. I am a homemaker. I live in New Delhi. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as my educational qualification concern, I have done my post graduation. After that, I have done my B.Ed. And nowadays, I am learning English to improve my communication skill. That's all about me. Um, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So my name is Tanuja and I am from Bhopal city. If I'll talk about my qualification, so I have done engineering from computer science branch and currently I'm a working professional in one of the software company and it's been four years in my company and simultaneously I'm running my YouTube. That's all about me. Very nice to hear that. <laughs> okay, so as you were saying, you are also a YouTuber? I just created. Okay, okay. Recently okay. you started. Okay, fine. I want so to save memories of English journey. <laughs> so that's yeah. why I created it. Okay, that's really a nice thing because you know, when you will see your first video after some days, then you will feel that yes, you have improved a lot. Even when I see my first video now and I I can, you know, compare this video like, yes, uh, that time I was speaking like, uh, what can I say without any confidence, without any uh, improvement. And now I can see this kind of differences in myself. So, yes, it is good. And we can analyze ourselves. Yeah. So are you learning this English language? So uh, is there any reason uh, like you want to do any kind of job or something like that? Yes, uh, uh, you know, uh, English is very, in, uh, very important uh, need of today. And in every field, we yeah. have to face this, uh, difficulty when we not speak English. So uh, I have done my beard, so I, yeah. I, I'm trying my best to improve my uh, English speaking. So, so that's why. Okay, okay got it. Yes, because some people are learning this language because they have to uh, go in a particular job or something like that. That's why I was asking. Yeah. But it, yeah, now everyone is aware that English is very much important. And if you know English, then you will feel a little bit confidence also when you are gathering with other people and you are speaking. Yes. Okay. When did you start? Your journey of spoke, spoken English? So in my company, I was speaking uh, for the last four years, I would say. But uh, for fluency and uh, improvement, I had started my channel uh, last one and before uh, one year, I would say. So from that time onwards, I am just trying to speak with uh, different different people. So, yes. But long, long time experience now. <laughs> Yeah, you can say this because, you know, in my workplace, I was facing a lot of difficulties and uh, for uh, for two to three years, I was not speaking very confidently and I was hesitating a lot. Yes, I had to uh, give the update of my work and I was doing that thing, but I was preparing the sentence in my mind first that I have to say these things, I have to say these things. But, uh, you know, I was facing a lot of difficulties because sometimes if they are asking me any other question, so I was uh, facing a little bit difficulties that time. So I thought, no, I should work on my communication. So that's why <laughs> I started my channel and now it is continuously going on. It is going well? Yeah, it is going well. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we can see the ups and downs. So I'm not bothering much because I'm already working and I haven't thought about any kind of uh, YouTube growth before that. But now I'm giving time and uh, efforts on that. So I'm just waiting for results as well. <laughs> you you are a perfect English. So you have 
you are speaking very well uh not really sometimes i lack of words because of uh, i would say that i don't have much vocabulary and uh, i'm not putting extra effort for learning this thing to be honest because i don't get time because of work and that that youtube part you already know that if you have to upload any one videos only then you have to edit then you have to make the thumbnails you have to upload videos <laughs> it takes lot of time yeah it's right and i am okay. these uh, it, these are my initial days so i am facing lots of problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> what to say and <laughs> these kind of mm-hmm. yeah it happens because we think a lot like uh, we don't have to say anything wrong like that but it is okay if you are in a learning stage and if you are doing any mistake that is okay you know i was doing lot of mistakes in my grammar thing but i have reduced a lot because of practice only to be honest so you will also uh, do the same thing if you are practicing it regularly so it will automatically remove and you will not think about anything uh, like what i am saying anything wrong or right so you will not feel this kind of thing okay. and actually i am not giving so much effort to learn this language i am doing only listening and i am converse with the people yeah, that is also okay if you are learning uh, listening and speaking even i am just doing only two things nowadays uh, because of lack of time i would say but yes everything is important like reading and writing sometimes you are speaking and you know the words also but you when you have to write those words that you won't be able to write it because you don't know the uh, spelling of that word so how would you read uh, write those words so it happens so it depends if you are doing practice it regularly like writing and reading then automatically it will be in your habit mm-hmm. but if you are now you are focusing only on speaking part that is also okay and listening plays very important role uh, i have also learned because i haven't done any kind of coaching and i haven't talked with any kind of people before that but uh, i was just listening uh, on youtube channel and uh, i had some no- basic knowledge of grammar things like tenses we had learned these things in school time so <laughs> because of that i was making the sentence and uh, now it is in habit like yes i have to say this things i have to say it. so how many session you had taken uh, before this yes i just started my english journey uh, before 25 days ago and uh, Mm-hmm. in in day for my conversation and i have done my 16 conversation when did you uh, start uh, conversation with the people yeah it's 8 to 9 months okay yeah, it's a long time it's like hmm i am doing one conversation a day and in a week i would say 3 to 4 session because okay. uh, yeah and not more than that consistency sorry maintain consistency of conversation yeah you can say this uh, not on a regular basis but if i am not doing any kind of conversation videos with other people so i'm just doing another activity like i'm talking with myself because sometimes it happens we are not getting any partner to speak with then i talk with myself <laughs> so because of that i am making the consistency <laughs> you are creating an environment artificial environment <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can say because you know uh, before 8 months i was just trying to speak with myself only because i had i had no idea that i can do this kind of conversation video and i don't know uh, uh, one day i just saw one advertisement of clapping go session so i had just taken four session on that and after that when i uploaded those sessions so i was getting email from different learner that i have to talk with you like that and from that time onwards i started this conversational videos and it is all about conversation nowadays yes everyone is doing this yeah and after after my channel i have seen that lot of people are doing the same thing uh, maybe they have started before me also but uh, when i started then i was not really aware that uh, people are doing the same kind of thing <laughs> and i think it is good good platform yes okay and are you doing job uh, in mp 
Yes, I am doing work from home nowadays. Nowadays, no. Covid time itself. And before the Covid, I was going to office, but only five to six months I went there. And after that, I came to my hometown again. And now it is completely work from home, so I don't have to go to office. That's why I'm uh, utilizing my time in another thing. <laughs> If you have to go to office, then you have to get ready for that. You have to pack your lunch and all these things, and it takes a lot of time. But in home, you don't have to be bothered about this thing. So it you can save your time, like traveling time and all this. So what's your hobbies? What do you like to do? I Apart like from this English. I like uh, listening uh, song. Okay. And any other? I like to visit many places. Okay, that's nice. So, have you visited any other places apart from your New Delhi? Uh, no. Uh, and basically, I'm from Uttarakhand, so I visited there every year. Delhi okay. to Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. <laughs> okay, so you haven't been anywhere else apart from this too. No, I never go. Okay, so if you will get a chance to visit any other state or city, so where you want to go? I want to go south, South India. Okay. Ramis. Ramis. Okay, that's really nice. Even yeah. now also I want to go south side because I have visited most of the places in uh, our North India. So I want to visit south. I went to Bangalore once, but I haven't visited a lot of places. So I want to visit some other places in South India. Like you must have heard about Adi Yogi Temple. Adi Yogi Temple, no man. Oh, uh, it's a sculpture of uh, Lord Shiva, half body of uh, Lord Shiva. A statue of yeah. Uh, it is in Coimbatore. It is in Coimbatore. Okay, it is related to Sadguru. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. <laughs> I have seen that uh, like some of videos on YouTube and some other people who visited there. It's really a nice place and uh, one big statue and you know light show. Uh, we can see the light show also. Okay, so let's discuss about shopping. <laughs> so do you love shopping? Yes, I think every <laughs> every woman loves it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so which kind of shopping do you like? Offline or online? I prefer offline. Offline. Have you ever done online shopping? Yes, yes. Sometimes. And uh -huh. we order grocery from there. Okay. Grocery. And if, uh, if, uh, if we want to uh, buy new clothes, then we go to market. But okay. Can can you give me two uh, pros and cons of online shopping? Uh, online shopping, uh, its uh, profit is uh, mm -hmm. we can consume our time. Um, and uh, what I say? <laughs> we can consume time or save our time. What do you want to say? Save our time. Save our time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what is the disadvantage? Uh, sometimes we order and it, it is dif uh, we get different things. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you are right. So it happens, but it is uh, you know good for them who don't want to spend uh, much time on market to vendor here and there and. Yeah, most of the time I also do the online shopping uh, because now I don't get much time and I want other other friends are also with me, then I can go there uh, because I don't like to go alone. So that's why and sometimes it happens if you are free, then other people are not free. So you can't go at the same time. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing uh, online shopping. But if you uh, if you want to purchase something uh, in a very short time, for example, Tomorrow I have to go to attend a wedding and if I want something, so I can't uh, do online shopping because I can't get it uh, 
from the mara till tomorrow so that is the bad thing also <laughs> okay and offline uh, we can uh, if we if we buy a cloth so we can touch it feel it the material yes yes because you know in online uh, if you are uh, buying any kind of clothes so sometimes we don't understand what kind of quality i will get so that is the main reason people prefer on offline shopping because they can see the cloth cloth quality as well yeah we have already every specification in the uh, online but still we are not uh, fully confident that yes i will get the same thing and sometime we can bargain <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes yes you are right and some sometimes it is kind of fun also not only we are going for shopping just to buy something and we are just wandering here and there just watching a different different thing eating something in a market so it is also kind of fun if you are going with your friends and family so that is also good <laughs> yeah okay okay so which kind of uh, things you like to buy more uh, like makeup accessories or uh, clothes or uh, your shoes and sandals this which kind of things you like most to buy yes i like uh... I'm not fond of makeup and all. Uh, mm -hmm. I like to buy clothes. Clothes. Okay. So, do you ever feel that you spend a lot of your money on your clothes? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> when our yeah, that lots of clothes are there, but uh, when to decide to choose one? So <laughs> that I can recall yesterday's story because I had to go in. Uh, pre wedding uh, rituals like mata pujan and i was deciding a dress for me so i just collected all the dress in one single place and i was deciding for 2 to 3 hours and i was not able to decide which one i have to wear it and lastly i have just uh, choose one uh, simple suit and uh, yes i have to wear this and because i was totally frustrated that time i was not able to decide it <laughs> get tired <laughs> yeah i got tired because I was trying to one by one, and uh, I got really frustrated and bored. That uh, no, now I can't decide, so I, I'm just wearing anything, whatever it it is in front of me. Just that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I always think like that in every occasion. I have to buy. Uh, I have to wear a new dress, but sometimes I feel like it is not a good habit uh, because we are spending a lot of money on our clothes only, and there is uh, no benefit of uh, this thing. because we are girls and we don't want to uh, you know but to be at the same dress again and again so that is <laughs> so that is the bad thing yes yes when we buy clothes mm -hmm. and uh, many clothes we have uh, when uh, even that we buy one more and mm -hmm. but we we wear only night suit <laughs> <laughs> yes you are right <laughs> that uh, that one dress it is our it is our favorite favorite i can say in our yes. home we are just wearing only one dress only <laughs> t-shirt and pajama uh, yeah right <laughs> yes yes it happens anyways okay so i think it's a long conversation if you want to ask any question so we can otherwise we can wrap up this call okay no. <laughs> Okay thank you so much for having this session have a nice day bye bye yeah ma'am